Hello and welcome to the Cypress Barbecue Easy Setup Guide. First thing you'll need is one of these, a Cypress Barbecue. If you've got one, great. If not, get yourself over to cypressbbq.co.uk where you'll find them and many other wonderful things. Okay, right. First of all, let's have a look what's in the box. Get a knife, carefully cut down the middle there and then both sides. Okay, there we are. Right, open that flap and open the next flap. So let's see what's inside. Right, first up is the iron T bar stand. Okay, that's for the Suvla mechanism. Also, move that over. Yep, next up, the other side of the Suvla mechanism. There we are. The souvlaki mechanism for the 11 small souvlaki skewers. One, two, three, four legs. Brilliant. There we go. That's four legs. One for each corner. Three large souvla skewers. Three wooden handles for the large souvla skewers. Put them on in a bit. Eleven small souvlaki skewers. Okay. Careful, these are very sharp. Uh, what else is in here? Oh. We've got, this is for the souvla, so you've got straight iron bar. The lifting, raising and lowering mechanism handle. And the locking handle, again, for the souvlet mechanism. Brilliant. And what else have we got? Most importantly, the charcoal tray that this all gets put onto. Okay, first job. Let's get some legs on this barbecue. One in each corner. That's the plan. Right, so grab the handles, left and right. Carefully turn it 90 degrees. And then another 90, so it's facing down. Okay. Grab the legs. See they've got a butterfly nut on them. Loosen those. And they just slide over the legs. There we go, tighten it up, just finger tight. Do that for all four legs. And the reason why you're doing it finger tight is because when you sight your barbecue and decide where you want to put it, it might not necessarily be uh, completely flat. So you can adjust the height slightly on these. But obviously it needs to be as flat as possible. Okay, last one going on. There we go. Right, and then it'll be facing out with the angle you'll see in a second. So grab the handles again and turn it back over, and you're good for the next stage. Okay, so next up, the Suvlaki mechanism. So that's with the spindle pointing out away from the barbecue. So it's got two little, there'll be hooks there, and you'll see two brackets on the side of the barbecue and they just slot straight in there remember to have the spindle pointing out because that's what you're going to connect the motor to later on we'll show you how to do that in a few great okay so next let's get the iron t stand for the souvla mechanism on so with the souvlaki mechanism in front of you make sure this goes on the left hand side so the two legs just slot straight in here and you've got a nut there, take the nut off, put that somewhere safe, you'll need it in a minute, slide these down, all the way, there we go, and then the iron bars that are hanging down here, go through where the handle is, in between the handle and the barbecue, it won't go, just bend it and it'll go through, lift it up slightly, it might help, and then slide that over the bolt, 
and then get the nut you took off and just finger tighten that and back on again and that's that left hand side of the Sugla mechanism done you can see it going up and down clear okay so let's get the other side of the Suvla large skewer mechanism on okay so on the right hand side now with the Suvla key mechanism in front of you so on the right hand side two legs just slide straight in to the collars like the other side did there you go right and on this side you've got one nut there and one nut there take those off put them somewhere safe that's that one put it in the tray and the other one same place okay right first bit you'll need is the straight iron bar there we go straight metal bar that goes between the barbecue and the handle over the bolt at the top and over the bolt at the bottom so when you've got those threaded on it will be vertical get one of the nuts and just tighten that up finger tight after threading it onto the top one you then got the lowering and raising handle so this goes on the two bolts that are sticking out now so you've got the lower one and the middle one You'll see them at a 45 degree angle and then put the other nut on to the bottom of the metal straight metal bar you can see it's that's now vertical and then on the other remaining open side you've got the locking handle that's already got a nut built into it so carefully just thread that on in a clockwise direction and there you go Round and around we go okay so yeah and then it's just a case of push down on the top handle and lock it with the bottom one so anti-clockwise to loosen it and clockwise to lock it in place great right next let's get the handles on these Sula skewers okay so one two three of each there we go right round hole in the handle square peg on the skewer let's get that square peg in that round hole it's extra grip so best thing to do find a hard surface put a tea towel down it's soft wood so you don't want to damage the handle grab the handle firmly in one hand and then square end feed that in but make sure that the skewer is perfectly vertical and gently carefully tap it a few times that it starts to grip just make sure that you've got the skewer vertical okay let's show you how to fit the super skewers through the mechanism so hold the handle these are very sharp the handle end rests on the t-stand and the point then just fits through the hole on the super mechanism pretty obvious and straightforward where they're going so just rest them on all three of them there we go you can see them coming out the other side there brilliant right and remember that the Suvla mechanism is the one that can go up and down so lowest handle anti-clockwise to loosen it and then up and down using the raising and lowering handle and then pull that towards you clockwise direction and that'll lock it at the height that you want okay now let's get your motor turning these skewers so use the motor it's a complementary motor there it's the basic one that's a pin and the hole it's going over the bracket and the spindle that's it unscrew the motor you'll need a type d battery put that in we've supplied you with a, a free and gratis motor but not the battery tighten that back up again put the pin over the bracket and the hole over the spindle and if it won't grip just switch that on there we go and you'll see it starting to spin fantastic
Now let's get the souvlaki skewers onto the barbecue. All right, 11 of those small skewers. So grab them by the handle. That's the sharp end. Careful with that. So just feed them through the hole on the souvlaki mechanism. And just rest in the metal on the cutouts on the other side of the barbecue. If they don't go in the first time, just hold the mechanism and give them another little push. But just be careful because they are sharp. Right, you got your souvlaki skewers on. Let's attach the motor to this side. So, pin those on the bracket and the hole over the spindle. Simple as that. So, hook the pin onto the bracket and then the hole should fit over the spindle. Like I said before, if it doesn't grip at first, just turn it on and it'll engage it. And then you'll see them spinning. Excellent. Hopefully you found the uh, setup guide really useful and you're going to be up and running in no time. Um, we'd really appreciate a like, so hit the thumbs up. And remember, send us some all your fantastic uh, photos and videos of you using your Cypress barbecue. Please visit our website as well, which is www.cypressbbq.co.uk to see the full range of barbecues and accessories we've got available for you. And remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Great. Happy barbecuing.